What's going on? I should get back to things. Sounds good. What can I do for you? Tell me something else about the ship. Her engine's based on the Ark's Odyssey Drive, which got us through dark space. The core takes the static electricity it generates and stores it in capacitors. We basically make our own power supply. It took Serena and Tion weeks to get it working on a smaller ship. And a few electrical shocks. Tell me something else about the ship. Our aerospace engineer was Tian Ada Vasmore, a Quarian fellow, and absolutely fearless. Once, some Omega scrap dealer pulled the we don't sell the quarians nonsense. Tion found a workaround. What did he do? He glued a memory foam to his environmental suit. Then, during the negotiations, leaned against the drive core he wanted, very casual. It made a perfect mold of the components, and the scrap dealer was none the wiser. What do you think of the rest of the crew? Dr. Tapero seems nice, if quiet. It must be very different here, compared to the Hyperion. Fewer people in stasis shock. Let's keep it that way. I'll let you concentrate. You know where I'll be. Tracking a remnant architect. The one we fought ended up in orbit? Amazing. Towards Volk. Beginning approach. Volt orbit is steady. Approaching the LZ.
plenty to do here. Let all the Neptunes in large. Why are there no forward stations there? Extreme cold is detected, mm -hmm. Pathfinder. Temperatures are within acceptable limits. Environmental temperatures are within acceptable limits. about the human landed right in the middle of fire no i hope they dealt with it i'm right here is a pathfinder fighting for us have some respect Jal and the pathfinder don't worry they dealt with me <laughs> welcome you are the pathfinder yes I am Roshua Lin. What are these symbols on the wall? My people worship here in private. And I give the blessings. Would you like one? I'm a bit of a stranger to your faith. A stranger in all things, perhaps. The blessing is offered with simple goodwill. Why don't you practice religion in public? Those who are slaves to the cat are forbidden to express their spiritual beliefs. We honor their isolation by practicing privately. Faith is also strongest when no one sees it. It would be an honor. I give you strength and courage, yet be clear your heart. You seem troubled. Oh, Pathfinder Rider. I was just speaking a blessing for two of our young soldiers murdered by the Ket. So many dead or disappeared, but these two cuts are the deepest yet. Do you need space? I can go. It's all right. Speaking grief lessens it. These children were swayed by a new belief that's taken hold. 
A soul finds enlightenment through reincarnation, but some now think they can force this. They fling themselves at death, thinking they will be reborn stronger. Glory seekers, we call them. I have heard of this. No one I know, but I can't be certain. Reincarnation is a nice thought, but to die for it? This has consequences. If you meet some of these glory seekers, do what you can to save them from death. That's all any of us can do. How do you become a priestess? With great hardship. Only those who know darkness can lead others to light. I speak weakly words for those who seek them. They take my words to their families, so that they all find the strength I once longed for. What do you believe? In the never-ending growth of a soul that is reincarnated within a family. A righteous action in this life begets enlightenment in the next. And with that, a stronger dynasty. What happens to the souls of Exalted Ingara? This is our great heartache. They are kept from the family dynasty. Lost to us in all ways. Thank you. Speak to a I don't want it. Gonna need some kind of stimulant. Well, I have Kajari and Suma. We're out of every... Looks like supplies aren't getting through to the Resistance. Odisk is in charge of requisitions. Pardon? We should speak with him. Yeah, just one second, I'll grab it, yeah.
Jarl, have you come back to us? Briefly. And these must be the strangers I've heard so much about. You know, if not for Jarl, I might kill you. That must be difficult out here. Joel's the brave one. How do you get supplies with the cat everywhere? The same way we came. There are caves and hidden parts all over the world. It's hard to fly in, so my children run most items through the caves, little by little. Children? Their size makes it hard for the cat to detect. We all do what we can out here, even children. How do you feel about Ephra? Some speak ill of the man, but his plan is bold and the resistance is important. I'll do what I can to help until I can't help anymore. Are you selling anything we could use? I have almost nothing left. What I do have, we need, if we're going to stand any chance against the Ket. Maybe if you clear that Ket station on the south road, I'd be able to bring in more, and spare something for you. Good luck, and stay safe. Just make sure you return Jarl to us. No, uh, if you need patching up, you'll have to wait. A patrol just came through, and I need to see to them. Is it just you here? Volunteer medics are hard to come by, especially ones who can handle Vold. It's actually warm in here. Those heaters work pretty well. We don't use them for heat. They generate artificial sun, so we don't go dark. What do you mean, go dark? Right, I suppose you wouldn't know about that. Our bodies generate energy from sunlight. If we don't get enough, our immune systems weaken and our bioenergy slows. We go dark. It can't be easy living in a place like this. Between the cold and the lack of sun, it's tough to keep morale up. Most of us come from Aya or Haval, so it's a big adjustment. Immunity drops, people get sick. But if the civilians in the settlements can live here without complaint, so can we. I'll come back if I need anything. I'll be here. Yes, what is it? You're that alien they've been talking about on comms, aren't you? Why are you standing here? Don't you have more important places to be? I'm not sure which question I should answer first. How about none of them? I simply wanted to express my surprise that someone was in my way. Dr. Harim, maybe Ryder can help us with the emergency caches. Emergency caches? This is a war zone. Ked attacks are always a risk. Wounded. There's probably a cache of emergency medical supplies nearby. No substitute for real medical attention, but you'll survive long enough to reshift. Problem is the caches are empty right now. We're strained and no one's been out there to replenish supplies. There's no time to waste. I'll help with whatever you need. Supply crates are stacked by the wall over there. Directions to the caches are with them. You have a vehicle? Of course. Yes. Good. Get going. Where is it?
These are the emergency medical supplies the doctor mentioned. We have to get them to the caches. Sam, you saving the location data? Of course, Pathfinder. to see you again, Commander Dozil. And you, Jal. You must be the Pathfinder who saved the Moshai. I'm Anyik Dozil, commander of this encampment. You're welcome here as an ally of the Angara. Thank you. I appreciate the warm welcome. It's a joke. To break the ice? Get it? Warm welcome? Ice? Call that a joke. Probably a translation thing. Perhaps. Strange jokes aside, I hope you will join our fight against the Ket. We could certainly use the help. We've held the Ket at bay, but have been unable to deal a decisive blow. The longer things drag on, the greater our disadvantage. If your current approach isn't working, we'll need to find another one. Our main problem is a lack of fighters. If you want to know where you can make a difference, go to the post that overlooks the valley. Nothing happens on Vold without our lookouts knowing about it. Before you go, is there anything else I can help you with? I've met Ephra. He's... interesting. He's never been good at first impressions. He can be stern, but he's exactly what the Resistance needs. Ephra took a scattered band of civilian fighters and molded them into an effective army. What success we've had against the Ket is entirely due to his leadership. Most people seem to really respect him. Because he would do anything for his people, he inspires the same in us. We may not always agree with Ephra, but we'd follow him to the end of the stars. How are you holding up against the Ket? It hasn't been easy. We've had our victories, but we're a small force. Too small. Didn't Ephra send recruits? Most of them are young, untrained. If we want to beat the Ket, we need medics, technicians, and skilled fighters. Then Ryder and I will help. We will? If the Commander needs recruits, we'll find them. I'm an outsider. How could I convince anyone to join your resistance? You may be an outsider, but Jarl is an experienced soldier with unmatched passion. He's inspired the will to fight in so many of us. And you're the hero who saved our Moshai. That carries weight. Jarl's right. We can find the people you need. I'd be happy to take anyone you send my way. You have my gratitude, both of you. How long has the Resistance been around? Nearly as long as the Ket. With our military destroyed, they formed the Resistance as a final effort to reach it seems to be working. Only since Ephra took over. His tact. But even now, we're a long way from winning. That's it for now.
Pathfinder. Something I can do for you? You the requisitions officer? I hear you're having supply issues. Of course not. I don't know what you've heard, but everything is running fine. I saw the messages sent to you. What are you hiding? Keep your voice down. I need to keep this news contained. No one knows the shipments have stopped. If word gets around, we'll have a serious morale drop. I need to investigate this quietly. You have any leads? Not much. The supplies make it planet side, but never reach the base. The obvious answer is the Ket. Sabotage is their style. We changed our drop point, but no luck. I can't send someone to investigate without word getting around. I guess there's no avoiding it eventually. I can take a look at the drop point. That way no one will panic. I can't sanction an official search, but I also can't stop you from investigating on your own. The nav point for the last drop location is in my personal console. You seem to be adept at decryption. So I'll let you figure out the rest. Successful Pathfinder. Updating your nav system with a supply drop point. From this rule, we keep track of our brothers and sisters in the field. You don't win a war without good organization. Rylus? That's me, yes. I'm Rylus. Wow. You really showed up. You seem thrilled. Honestly, it's nothing special. Nothing special? You saved the Moshai from the Ket, and not just the Moshai. So many people owe you their lives. Anyway, I should get to the point. Your raid on the Exaltation Facility sent the Ket scrambling. They're trying to get their operations in order. Our scouts report increased Ket movement through certain areas of Vold. Not military, though. Science and research vessels. So something that could involve exaltation, or the creation of a new exaltation lab. Well, that's what I thought. Either way, Ket organizing means trouble. We don't have the tech to break into their bases, but someone has to stop them. You're talking to the right person. We always help our friends and allies. I knew you'd help. I'll send the nav point immediately. Yeah, yeah, I joined. Don't get smug about it. <laughs> 